as a content creator, there's always those one or two comments, even though they're not the majority, that get under your skin and really bug you. So today, I'm actually going to pay attention to one of those comments, breaking the golden rule of YouTube, which is, again, just ignore them, because I want to show this off. So I was basically accused in my last video of artificially desaturating the images. They're still images. You can't use them. You're just augmenting it. This is something that happens often. Anytime I show a tangible difference or my results versus all of the industry professionals with dozens of years of experience under their belt and how much better my results are for cheaper, there's always somebody out there throwing mud saying they look desaturated, oversaturated, or I'm just straight up faking it. So today I wanted to double, triple, quadruple down on showing you exactly what I did in the last video. And I'm going to go a step further and show that I don't have to ever fake results because that's not what we do here. So if you notice this image right here, you can see that everything is washed and ugly because that's what filmmaker mode looks like. Now, the vast majority of the audience here kind of already knows that, right? But there are stragglers that maybe feel a type of way. And we're not really doing this so much to make them feel better. I'm kind of an asshole. I do it to rub salt in their wounds because they get salty when I show a difference and a tangible difference. Now, before I show the difference, we're going to go ahead and go all the way down to filmmaker modes, reset option. We're going to reset the picture mode. So you see, I'm not doing anything to this filmmaker mode. It genuinely looks that damn bad. And as you can clearly see, washed out color, very cool, very blue, doesn't look great, right? Fantastic. Okay, so now we go a step further and we go into movie mode, which I created with my in-house perceptual calibration standard. And then, bam, that's what it looks like. From that to that. I mean, we can go ahead and hit play as well, because this time around, we're on a YouTube demo. So there's no real way to desaturate a YouTube demo. But you can see their trees are dead. My trees are life. Their kimono, all that's dead. The kimono here is life. You can see, look, just look at the difference in every nuanced detail of color that you get versus not getting. And look at the skyline. Look at everything, the warmth of the scene versus the death that they give you in filmmaker mode. Now, the big deal about exposing this mode and why I will never stop is because you have all of the industry experts and manufacturers coming out and supporting this saying, you should watch your mode and your TV like this. This is just a coup de gras. And it's terrible. Like fundamentally, it, it destroys television watching for pretty much everybody. And I don't think anyone out there should be confused about that and buying a TV based on filmmaker mode saying, well, I saw HDTV tests say that this is a good mode and you should use it. Or I see that digital trends backs it up or I see that purists are using this in shootouts and then running with that. Because the truth is the ugly truth that they will never say out loud because they won't get those sponsorships and they won't get the collaborative favor and all that stuff. They, they want their collaborations. They want the sponsorships. They want the handouts. I don't give a damn. I am myself. I am running this independently and I don't need anyone's approval. The reality is you get what you earn here. And people don't like when purists with a lot of clout are actually wrong and just caught up in a lie straight up when they say something looks better than what it doesn't. I mean, because you have filmmaker mode here and you have eco mode here. And I can guarantee you a lot of people would probably like eco mode a lot better than filmmaker mode, which just looks dead. I mean, you can say the same thing about dynamic. A lot of people will go to dynamic because it's the brighter mode versus something like filmmaker mode where it's not like that. But then there's this ignorance almost immediately slapped around washing out your colors and making everything look dead and awful just because you were told to by somebody who has a certification, not a degree, a certification in something. I mean, go take the same tests and get the certification if you want to brag about a certification, but that having a certification does not make you the king of kings, right? And I mean, we can go back to like auto body shop logic, right? You can have somebody who's a certified mechanic, but then there's that master technician that just knows the ins and outs of a specific manufacturer or a specific vehicle. And they say, well, you know what? I'm certified, but wait for the master technician. 
I'm the master technician. I know how all of this stuff works across every single brand and manufacturer. But see, something like that doesn't exist in the calibration world because they all just get ISF certified or THX certified and they call it a day. They don't teach on those calibrations what I do, how I take it from this to this. They do not know how to teach that because this is something I created. And being able to tout that around is something that pisses them off because they lose their credibility of being able to say, we're the experts. You can be experts at what you do, but there's always someone better in the room. Okay, so because I clearly desaturated the last example where I was showing you a moving YouTube video, you know, hacking YouTube and desaturating someone else's video in real time, I'm gonna play Forza Horizon 5's opening sequence here, and we're gonna go, again, filmmaker mode, we're gonna go expert settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and we're gonna hit reset the picture. Now, at this point in the video, I wanna note that this TV costs well over 2,000 plus dollars, and this is the filmmaker mode that everybody is bragging about being so accurate. As you can clearly see, everything is dead and washed, everything is pukey, just like in my other example. But look at my settings. A world of difference is literally unlocked with my settings for just $5 versus hiring a so-called professional calibrator to come out and wash your image out to what a computer says is reference accurate, standards of which that were created over 30 years ago and no longer work for TVs like a Quantum.OLED. This is the biggest wake-up call to those who still cling to those standards to maybe work on getting SDR standards reworked to include the advancement in technology, something I've been talking about since day one. And it's something that goes heavily criticized because, you know, never defy the status quo, do as you're told kind of logic, which is just not how I work. But as you're clearly seeing, filmmaker mode looking every bit as blue and washed out and as ugly once we reset it. And again, I guess I desaturated this, so I guess I have to show you another example. Now, because I'm ultra dramatic, and at this point, believe me, I know I'm being ultra dramatic, but I need you to see this because you're going to see Something like this on other YouTube channels, by the way, and I want to show you what you're looking at. So, we're gonna start again by going into filmmaker mode, going all the way down and resetting the picture because, you know, I desaturated even the Spears and Munsell UHD benchmarking disc that all your favorite YouTubers will be using. So, as you clearly see, it's cool and washed out. Now, you've probably seen really ugly footage like this on Stop the FOMO, and you've never actually seen the TVs that you're looking at look like this. The color literally is way different than how he represents it and how everyone else using this disc represents it. And the importance of this and the implications of this is all these comparisons that you watch where they show you, oh, look at those goats. They're so cool and washed out and fugly. Well, they actually aren't. These people do not know how to use the TVs before you. And so you watch these comparisons because they get hands-on first and they rush the content out, not actually knowing how to give you all the detail you deserve. And then it looks like this. This is more what you see on every one of their comparisons. Wait till we get to that horse scene, right? We can pause here. It's all ugly, cool, dead. When in reality, those horses have color. You can see the color. There's an actual shade of color associated with each individual horse that they don't know how to give you. They just wash everything out, put it in puke filter mode, and say, this is reference accurate. And I think based on how this TV performs out of the box, which is always limited and always trash on every single TV model in existence, this is how we think it performs. Not ever telling you there is a clear, definitive importance behind calibrating your set, making sure you have the proper settings so you get what you pay for because the manufacturers never give you what you pay for, which is what I advocate for on the daily and they cannot stand it, hate me for it, and I get haters like the one that inspired this video, which partially salt, partially educational because now we're seeing that there's an actual difference. You can actually make out color in that deer's face versus on everybody else's footage. Here, I'm sure you've seen this a thousand times on all of their footage. Always looking ugly, always looking like crap like this. Never once looking like that though. I mean, th this is the kind of image quality that you're missing out on. And of course, let me guess, I desaturated this too, right? There's always an excuse I find when I show up as the lone person able to produce this level of results in my videos where everyone else's videos look like this and mine look like this and they're like, holy crap, 
I can't compete with that, so you know what? I'm going to say it's oversaturated or it's inaccurate or some excuse because the truth of the matter is no one in this AV industry has ever tried to break away from what they've been told. They've just kind of watched TV like this and called it a day. It's pathetic. It's beyond pathetic. It's disgraceful. And it's something that I think they all should be ashamed of. They can have hundreds of thousands of followers, but what good is it if you don't know how to give results? I'll pause right here, for example. You see none of the color, and uh, I'm dead naming, okay? People like Stop the FOMO's video. Very ugly, very crappy image quality. Never once seeing the actual color. Why? I'll never know. I mean, I actually know he doesn't know what he's doing, but the reality is these are the people that you watch, right? And I get it. We all want to get an idea of what the new stuff is like, but you're not actually getting a true idea because as you can clearly see here in this exact video with the exact footage that they use, they are just literally taking these TVs out of the box, washing them the hell out or hiring somebody to do some god awful reference accurate calibration that robs you of all the real color. And when you are robbed of all the real color, you literally are never seeing what the TV looks like, literally never seeing the granularity of how wonderful, transformative, beautifully immersive the TVs can be. Look at this. This is like literally, I, I will just do one of these, okay? Stop the FOMO literally had this image up looking exactly as crappy as this. Do you want to know what this image actually looks like? The true director's intent. Because right now, everything is way too damn blue. You have none of the depth, none of the dimension, none of the color. And it's not how it actually looks. But if you deviate from the so-called filmmaker mode, the director's intent mode, and you go with quantum TV settings, again, five bucks, not gonna kill you on this set. Boom, that's what you get. All of that color back, it's a world of difference going from puke filter to color. You can actually see the brown and the elk's fur or whatever animal that is, right? I'm not like a zoologist, right? But you get the idea. And it's irritating me every year to watch these guys get up there and do these four-way comparisons. I mean, it's like, what next? You're going to do a 10-way comparison? It's like, while it's fun to watch them have a TV orgy, okay? It's more realistic to compare things in a realistic manner versus puke filter. Because I promise you, when you see your TV for the first time, you're almost going to get pissed off because now you realize just how far off the mark they were and how much faith you put in people that can't do this. You're watching it like this the whole time and their comparisons, though, look for it. I promise you, you'll see it ugly, washed out, cool, no color whatsoever. It's either overly green or overly blue or the blacks are crushed. These people have zero idea what they're doing. And me sitting at home watching their footage, it vexes the absolute crap out of me because I look at it and I'm like, what, what in the actual hell are you showing these people? What are you actually doing when you say that this is how this TV performs? No, the hell it's not. You don't even know how these TVs perform. Not, not even the slightest clue because you're in the most washed out version of this TV that you could possibly get and they're paying money to do these kind of comparisons. It baffles me. It blows my mind that these are the kind of videos that have hundreds of thousands of views, which again, power to them. They've got a lot of people duped and fooled and that, to thinking that that's how the TVs actually look. But I mean, there's a better way out there. And that's what we do here at Quantum TV. We show you the better way. And we give it to you for an affordable price versus, you know, giving you something that's like midway decent and then overcharging for it, which this isn't even midway decent, it's just straight up dead. And we restore the life back into each frame, depending on what it is, what the media content is going to be, whether it's streaming, gaming, movies, you name it. And we go per item, per content piece, and make sure that that is buttoned up. Now, again, is this a shameless plug for oneself? Of course, but we are independently run, and I really don't care about shameless plugs because they have no problem sending affiliate links into all of their videos, which at least I tell you I'm crowd and self-funded, and you guys are the lifeblood of this channel, which is why I can do videos like this and risk upsetting the purists as much as I do and not shaking hands and breaking bread at the same table of selling your soul. Because at the end of the day, I get to keep my soul and be honest about what I do and still run Quantum TV the way that I've always run it, which is 100% transparent. If you like this kind of thing, smack a like on this video. If this has opened your eyes, again, smack a like on this video. Share this with somebody who maybe needs more enlightenment to know the differences between washed out and not. And let's spread the 
the word. Filmmaker mode is trash. We shouldn't be using it. We should force them into a better way of thinking, which is the 21st century, and get them to correct this washed garbage, because I guarantee you, every single TV you've ever watched on any publication that does this trash right here, these so-called reference accurate calibrations to 30 years ago, yes, yeah, sure, the numbers are accurate on paper. Congratulations, but you see what it looks like. It does not look good. And if you want good, you want better, Stick with Quantum TV, I got you back. More content to come. Thanks for watching the number one brand in honesty. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.